hello guys welcome again today we will see how to do uh, accuracy assessment on google Earth engine or accuracy assessment of uh, classified image i have two or more uh, videos on image classification using google Earth engine today uh, you can check them uh, on my channel today we will see how to do the accuracy assessment of this classified image this is another image i have already written some codes we used to classify the image I have uh, five classes or five land cover classes already uh, classified the image and I will uh, try to show you how to use these uh, pointers and do the accuracy assessment as you can see I have retrieved Landsat 8 image and filtered by uh, my area of interest and then I have specified the image for this specific date Finally, I have tried to make the cloud-free composite image using this uh, composite algorithm and finally clipped the image using the area of interest. Then I have used this uh, visualization to visualize the image and add the land site 8 image to map canvas. And uh, once you have completed this process, next is uh, to merge the training data, so training samples. I have uh, five land cover class i have already selected enough pointers for each uh, land cover classes so we need to merge this, this land cover class as one variable so new feature class you have to write this code to make or to merge all the uh, features into one uh, group uh, then we have to select the bands for training or for image classification I have used these uh, seven, six bands of Landsat 8 image, one, two, three, four, five, six, and band seven. This will uh, consider, this will be considered in the image classification. These seven bands are taken as image classification. Next is uh, making the, uh, determining or uh, describing the training samples. So we have to use this code in order to describe the training samples using the property of the, the collected uh, pointers you have to give a layer property and a layer value for each uh, pointers you have to use a feature collection as import image so this will uh, make <coughs> the sample uh, sample corner or training correlation for uh, classification once you have uh, determined the training uh, pointers, you have to specify the classifier. I am going to use a support vector machine classifier in the uh, GE code. So this will uh, retrieve the support vector machine classifier. <coughs> Next is uh, to classify the image. Once we have write the uh, classifier, you can determine or validate the classification using this code then uh, you have to write a code that is used to display the classified image and add to the layer i am going to use uh, these five colors cyan blue green purple and the yellow uh, visualization or plates and the minimum of four and the maximum of four layer which is i have total of five class so you have to use uh, total number of uh, your uh, image cl classified uh, classes i have uh, total of five classes so you have to consider minimum of zero and the maximum of uh, four uh, display once you have uh, finished your image classification you have to use uh, the image classification accuracy assessment uh, code in googlers engine so this part will consider, will uh, include the total accuracy assessment. So first we need to write or we need to use random column techniques to split the uh, training or the total uh, training pointers into training and validation data set. So uh, we have to add random column to each feature. So this code will add the random column to all of the uh, features once we have uh, added the random column you have to split the point into the training and the validation uh, data set and uh, this 
three line of course this records or this part of the code is splitting our data set into two parts a training set and a validation data set and the split variable is set to the 0 0.7 which is 70% uh, of the data will be used for the training purpose and uh, the remaining 30% of the total point will be used for uh, validation purpose so the filter function here uh, the filter function is used to divide the data based on the random attribute of each point so this will split our data into two category for validation and testing 0.7 or 70 percent of the training data will be used for the training purpose and 30 percent for the testing purpose <coughs> once we have split the data you have to write a code which is used to the accuracy assessment or performing accuracy assessment this code will apply the confusion matrix technique to make uh, the overall accuracy assessment so uh, in this section <coughs> In this section, the code is performing an accuracy assessment. The classify function, we have a total of three functions from this code. And the classify function will uh, be used to classify the validation set using the trained classifier, which is support vector uh, classifier. And the error matrix uh, function is then used to create a conversion matrix, which is a table used to describe the performance performance of the classification model or uh, the classification algorithm and our third function which is the uh, accuracy function is used to calculate the overall accuracy of the classification so this code or this three line of code will perform the total accuracy assessment finally uh, the confusion matrix and the overall accuracy uh, assessment will be added to the console you have to use this code print confusion matrix because a confusion matrix this will add the uh, result of accuracy uh, confusion matrix and the overall accuracy uh, uh, value so this is a simple code that used to make the accuracy assessment of the classified image once you have completed our uh, code we can run the code and check the total accuracy of this classified image So as you can see the uh, accuracy, the overall accuracy and the confusion matrix added to the console. We have also the classified image and also I have the Landsat 8 layer. As you can see, this is the final classified image. I got 0 0.77 uh, total accuracy or 77% of overall accuracy. And then my classified image is added to the uh, map as you can see i have five classes this part shows the beer land and the yellow one shows the farm lands and this color shows the built up area i have total of five cross and this part is the water part So it is a very big data, so it takes some um, uh, minute to load. Yeah, so this is the final output. I have uh, all this classified uh, image with uh, five classes. Uh, the beer land, crop land, will dump forest in the uh, water body. So, so thank you for your time. Mm, see you in the next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, goodbye.